Colorado is expected to bring in about $125 million in tax revenue from legal cannabis sales this year, up from just $44 million in 2014. In the first seven months of 2015, the state made about $73.5 million, already nearly doubling revenues from last year. And while sales didn't meet expectations in 2014, according to Colorado's Department of Revenue, from July 1, 2014 to June 30, 2015, the state made about $70 million from cannabis taxes and only about $42 million from alcohol taxes. In a statement, Mason Tavert, Communications Director at the Marijuana Policy Project, said it's crazy how much revenue our state used to flush down the drain by forcing marijuana sales into the underground market. It's even crazier that so many states are still doing it. Tax revenue is just one of many good reasons to replace marijuana prohibition with a system of regulation. According to many working in the cannabis industry, increased sales are a result of greater social acceptance of the plant. Tyler Henson, president of the Colorado Cannabis Chamber of Commerce, attributes the increased revenue to more and more people comfortable with the legalization of marijuana. They don't see it as something that's bad for them, he said. Furthermore, in its first year of cannabis legalization, many of Colorado's dispensaries were still coming online, and on opening day, only existing medical cannabis shops were allowed to sell recreational weed. A lack of access to financial services also continues to hold back potential growth, according to dispensary owners. Despite this and other harsh regulations, Colorado's cannabis sales are expected to keep growing as hundreds of dispensaries now operate in the state.